Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy and we are discussing the animal theorem. This is the lecture number 6. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 5 before watching this part 6. In this lecture, we are going to solve uh, some problems related to uh, binomial theorem and that is from miscellaneous exercise. Before break, we had discussed uh, some of them and uh, now we are going to finish them. So, from question number 6, this is a question that is given here. And six is the find the value of find the value of find the value of value of a square plus under root a square minus one whole to the power four plus a square minus under root a square minus one whole to the power. 4. So if I will uh, write all this because it is an addition of uh, 2, so we can solve it like solution is like this. We can do um, solution 4c0 a square to the power 4, isn't it? Plus 4c1 a square to the power 3 and root under a square minus 1, right? Now, this is power 1. Now there will be 4c2 and but you can do it directly as well here there is a shortcut idea in which you can deal with this question without because you have learned the formula so what would be use of that formula if you will use not use so you know we right here we know x plus y to the power n plus x minus y to the power n is twice of even coefficients this we have discussed in very first class that is n c 0 x to the power n plus n c 2 x to the power n minus 2 y to the power 2 like this. So we can use here also. The same thing can be used here to find the solutions and therefore we can write here this is a square plus under root a square minus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to and plus a square minus under root a square minus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to and twice of even coefficients and this means 2 times of 4 c 0 a square to the power 4 plus 4 c 2 a square to the power 2 and root under a square minus 1 whole square plus 4 c 4 and root under a square minus 1 whole to the power 4 isn't it so we can do that now this will be 2 4c0 is 1, a to the power 8, plus 4c2 is 6, a to the power 4 into a square minus 1 because root will be cancelled and plus 4c4 is 1 and this will be a square minus 1 whole square because power is 4 and root will cancel this to power and then this become. So if you further calculate it, it will be a to the power 8 plus 6a to the power 4 multiply by 2 is 6a to the power 6 minus 6a to the power 4 and that will be a to the power 4 minus 2a to the square plus 1 isn't it so finally it will be 2a to the power 8 plus 6a to the power 6 and there will be minus 6a to the power 4 plus a to the power 4 is minus 5a to the power 4 minus 2a square plus 1 and that will be answered. So you can write like this, right now, without, uh, you can do it uh, by expansion as well, but that will be too lengthy. So use this and that will be your answer. This is the quick. Now next question, question number seven, and they ask about, find the, an approximation of, find an approximation of, an approximation of 0 0.99 0 0.99 whole to the power 5 using the first three terms of expansion using the first three terms of expansion first three terms of expansion of an expansion expansion right so the solutions can be first three terms of that is solution can be written like 
okay uh, 0.99 to the power 5 can be written as 1 minus 0 0.101 isn't it 1 minus 0 0.01 and to the power 5 so this can be written as first three terms of expansion is 5 c 0 1 to the power 5 minus 5 c 1 1 to the power 4 and this is a 0 0.101 plus 5c2 1 to the power 3 into 0 0.01 whole square plus this we have to use first three terms and then you have to calculate this so you will write here this is 5c0 is 1 and 1 to the power 5 is 1 5c1 is 5 and this is 1 by 100 you know so uh, even you can write it uh, it will be better to write 0 multiplied 0.1 multiply by 5 h uh, will be 0 0.25 that is um, 0 0.05 isn't it plus 5 c 2 is 10 and 10 multiply by this is 0 0.001 right now if you multiply by 10 it will be uh, one of them so if you calculate this what will come 1 plus 1 plus 0 0.001 minus 0 0.050. 0. We can write 0 there because there are three places of decimals. And now if you subtract 1 minus 0 is 1 and 10 minus 5 is 5, there will be 9. 9 minus 0 is 9 and here 0 will remain. So 9, 5, 1 that will be answered. So you can do that like I hope so. You understood it because three step you have to write here now the question number eight is there and in this eighth question it is written that find n find n if the ratio of fifth term if the ratio of of fifth term from the beginning from the beginning beginning and to the fifth term from in to the fifth term from end and in the expansion of in the expansion of fourth root of two plus one by fourth root of three whole to the power n is under root 6 is this is the question now we have to write solution and solution is what so in this question fifth term from beginning of this is fifth term from beginning from beginning beginning so fifth term from beginning is given by uh, fifth term from beginning beginning is given by r is equal to 4 now so here you can write n c 4 2 to the power 1 by 4 this to fourth root of 2 means 2 to the power 4 whole to the power n minus 4 and this is uh, 1 by 3 to the power 1 by 4 whole to the power 4 so it will be uh, nothing else but n c 4 2 to the power n minus 4 by 4 and 3 to the power 1 by 4 if you multiply by 4 it will be 1 by 3 only right now now uh, fifth term from end is what so fifth term from end in expansion fifth term from end in 2 to the power 1 by 4 plus 1 upon 3 to the power 1 by 4 whole to the power n is same as fifth term from beginning from beginning in just reciprocal of the reverse the terms 2 to the power 1 by 4 whole to the power n isn't it 
so we can write it fifth term from beginning in this way 2 to the power 1 by 4 whole to the power n right so that can be written as again n c 4 1 upon 3 to the power 1 by 4 whole to the power n minus 4 and 2 to the power 1 by 4 whole to the power 4 so that will be n c 4 1 upon 3 to the power n minus 4 by 4 and there will be 2 right so according to question these two ratio of these two according to question according to question uh, this two has a ratio root 6 is to 1 so n c 4 we can write here that will be n c 4 n c 4 2 to the power n minus 4 by 4 into 1 by 3 whole divided by n c 4 1 upon 3 to the power n minus 4 by 4 into 2 is equal to root 6 by 1 so that will come up here that is n c so that will be a uh, 6 6 raised to the power 6 raised to the power n minus 4 by 4 and this 3 will come multiply by 2 it will be 6 is equal to root 6 so this can be 6 raised to the power uh, n minus 4 by 4 is equal to 6 root 6 and 6 root 6 is 6 to the power 3 by 2 isn't it so clearly um, we can write here n minus 4 by 4 is equal to 3 by 2 2 cancel this 2 times 2 3 3 2 is 6 so n minus 4 is equal to 6 n minus 4 is equal to 6 and therefore n is equal to n that will be answer of this question so i hope you got it right now now the next one question is left and this question is um, expansion expand question number 9 expand using binomial theorem using binomial theorem binomial theorem theorem one it will be one plus x by two minus two by x whole to the power four and x is not equal to zero so we can write this expansion how is that let me write solution is there we can use it 1 plus x by 2 minus 2 by x as one term and we can use expansion like this so that will be further 4 c 0 plus 4 c 1 x by 2 minus 2 by x to the power 4 right plus 1 sorry this will be 1 power 1 and then 4c2 that is 6 x by 2 minus 2 by x whole square plus 4c3 and x by 2 minus 2 by x whole to the power 3 plus 4c4 and x by 2 minus 2 by x whole to the power 4 right so we can do that now 4c0 is 1 so we can write further this is 1 4 c 1 is 4 into x by 2 minus 2 by x plus 4 c 2 is 6 and that will be x square by 4 plus 4 by x square minus 2 because it will cancel 4 c 3 is 4 and that can be written as x q by 8 plus x q by 8 and minus a minus b whole q I can use it here that is a q minus 3 a square b 3 a square that is x square by 4 into 2 by x plus 3 a b a square into x by 2 into 4 by x square and minus b q 8 by x q and then 4 c 4 is 1 and x by 2 minus 2 by x whole to the power 4 so further it can be written as that will be 1 plus 
if you multiply by 4 it will be uh, 2x 2x minus 8 by x plus 6 x square by 4 minus 6 4 is 24 by x square minus 12 plus that will be x cube by 2 minus 3x square 3 to the 6x square that will be 6x square 4 will cancel 6x square isn't it 3 to the 6x square and uh, if you cancel this uh, for 3 to the 12 12 to the 24 upon x plus 24 upon x and 4 minus this 32 upon x cube and this last term can be expanded as 4c0 that is 1x to the power 4 by 16 minus 4c1 that is 4x cube by 8 into 2 by x plus 4c3 4c1 4c2 is 4c1 4c2 is 6 6 there will be 6 coefficient and it will be x square by 4 into 4 by x square plus 4c0 4c1 4c2 4c3 that is 4 x by 2 into 8 by x cube right and uh, this will be negative because plus minus plus minus so that will be negative and last term will be that will be 4c4 that is 1 and 16 by x cube x4 right this will be here so the last term expansion of last term is here it is written now all of them can be written together and that will be your answer so like terms can be added 1 plus 2x minus 8 by x plus 6 uh, 3x square by 2 3x square by 2 that is 3x square by 2 plus 24 by x square minus 12 plus x cube by 2 minus 6x square plus 24 by x minus 32 by x cube and uh, rest of the terms will be like x4 by 16 minus x 4 to the 8 it cancel x square plus 6 4 and this will be 3 4 3 are 12 4 4 cancel 6 6 only minus uh, 2 to the 16 by x square and plus 16 by x to the power 4 the term of x square will come from 3 by 2 here right and x square anywhere is minus 6 and then x square is minus 1 that will be x square then coefficient of x that is 2 from here and is there any x no there is no other x right so x is nowhere so that is 2x only and now there is a constant term 1 minus 12 minus 11 and plus 6 is minus 5 so that is minus 5 and then another term which will contain x to the power minus 8 minus 124 by x minus 8 by x is 16 by x 16 by x yes 16 by x then in denominator x square x square in denominator will be only one term 16 by x square and then x cube terms that is 24 by x cube 24 by x square minus 24 by x square and uh, minus this is x square 24 by x square minus 16 by x square is plus 8 by that will be plus 8 by x square plus 8 by x square this is x square let me write it here this one is x square okay so now for denominator x cube 32 by x cube and uh, there is no other term so 32 by x cube and then 16 by x4 16 by x4 that will be answer okay i hope you got it and now you can simplify this so that will be x4 by 16 
plus x cube by 2 and this is minus 7, 7 to here, so minus 11 by 2 x square plus 2x minus 5 plus 16 by x plus 8 by x square minus 32 by x cube plus 16 by x to the power 4 and that will be answered. So I hope you will write this, uh, this is the lengthy, it will not come in examination but uh, this question is given. So that is why you can expand. The basic thing is that, that you have to understood that how uh, there are trinomial terms we can use binomial and expand it. So the thing is that you will take uh, assume two of them as one item and one variable and uh, expand them further. So you can uh, do that. This is the basic thing which you, uh, they wanted to tell you and with uh, this question. So now the question number 10 and the question number 10 is find the expansion of find the expansion of expansion of 3x square minus 2ax plus 3a square all to the power 3 using binomial same question using binomial expand theorem using binomial theorem binomial theorem so i hope you will do that right now this is not a big deal right or i'm just giving hint how to deal with this you can take any one of them 3 3 is a 9 so you can use any one of them you can hint in time giving and you will definitely have to solve it take this uh, 3x square minus 2x as one item and 3a square as second item and then use it like using binomial expense apply x plus y to the power n and definitely you will be able to get it so this is all about the manual theorem for class 11. You will practice them. Um, also it is advised to solve some questions from the given exercise in the booklet. And uh, also the study material which is given to you, um, you will try to solve it. If there is any problem, you will ask and we will discuss it uh, again. For J uh, students there will be separate uh, classes on binomial theorem this is a huge topic for j purpose and lot of things i have to tell you for j examination in binomial theorem but for class 11 this is all about binomial theorem and uh, for j there will be as i told you there will be separate class and in that class we will discuss um, further concept as well as different type of questions so some concept and some uh, part of syllabus are still left for J purpose, J main and advanced. There are very difficult questions uh, from this topic and uh, which we will discuss one by one in upcoming classes. But till then, now for as far as concerned with the students of class 11th, this is all about binomial theorem. You just revise them and solve the questions which is given in booklet, um, which is given to you. So uh, that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless. Keep watching and further subscribe this channel as well. And if you want to uh, join a class uh, with test series and all, because there is a test series and evaluation, study material, notes, class notes, ebooks, everything is there. And further doubt discussions is there. We have a program that in that program we are um, um, giving you the everything supported by our faculty and test series will be also conducted video lectures will be also given and for je as well for 11 students can join for physics chemistry and mathematics uh, correspondingly through our um, mobile app mobisala uh, download first mobisala use arsa code 2020 uh, institute code that is ar S.A. Arvind Singh Academy, I stand for A.R. Arvind S.A. Singh Academy and 2020 and uh, then you can uh, purchase our course uh, in which we will provide all those things that is class notes, ebooks, study material, class test, regular test, very similar test, practice test, mock test for J and all and apart from that there are of uh, video lectures for J and class 11th as well. So all these packages are available. You can purchase from there. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. I hope you have enjoyed this. This binomial is a little bit lengthy chapter because lot of calculations are there. But still 
uh, you can manage it. This is not the end of uh, the, uh, the things that you cannot manage. Okay. So thank you. Thank you very much.